in the uh, in the mountains of North Carolina, where I live, is uh, they say that you can turn over a rock and a sing and find a singer underneath it. Uh, there's been a lot of singers come out of the mountains of North Carolina, and back in the early '60s, there was a group in the mountains of North Carolina that had been singing just around locally, and uh, I had the opportunity. Uh, their bass singer, he worked in a supermarket or something, and he couldn't go all the time. They asked me to come over and sing bass for them. And uh, then they asked me later on if I was interested in singing with them all the time because they told me that uh, they were really going to put their whole life into gospel music. And I thought, well, sure, you know. Uh, at the, yeah, at that age, you know, I didn't want to travel more than three miles to have to practice. And they lived down the road a pretty good ways from me. But uh, so they went on and on. Uh, they finally got somebody else to sing bass for them, and they went, right on into gospel music, and they ended up going to the top of the ladder in gospel music. And the name of the group was Martin Cook and the Inspirations. And this is a song that they made famous back in the middle 60s that really brought out southern gospel music. I want you to listen to When I Wake Up to Sleep No More. Twinkling 